Hi guys, Darth Deuce is here with another video. This video was requested from uh, Gungan Hunter 506. He wanted me to do a top five Star Wars figure lines, so I'm finally getting around to actually doing it. Um, I'm also doing it on my Instagram page, a whole tagging thing and all that. So if you have Instagram, go check that out on my profile. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do the video here. Um, if anyone else wants to do a video or share your um, list in the comments below, feel free to do so. I'd love to know what your guys' favorite figure lines are on the Star Wars spectrum. Yeah, we'll get into it with number five, which is the Legacy Collection, which was released, I believe, in 2008, somewhere around time around there, maybe 2009. It's a little hazy. I think it's 2008, kind of when this. Legacy Collection came out, it was the white and blue packaging there. When the Clone Wars figures first came out, you also had alongside the Legacy Collection. And here are a few figures there just from that. It's just a really good line. It's pretty much just a extension to the 30th Anniversary Collection line. You had movie figures, Expanded Universe figures, um, just a wide variety of characters, which were all, for the most part, very nice, well done, good articulation, good sculpts and all that and just really cool you still had some cool battle packs coming out you still had conk packs coming out at the time uh, right here i have all conk pack figures because a lot of them are really cool um dark empire luke being one of my favorites and then this pack here i got probably one of the more recent uh ones i've gotten with the shard hat and kiati money pack again another really good pack and it's just a really really cool line i really do like it Anyways, that's number five. We'll get on to number Next four. up at number four, we have the three and three quarter inch black series line. Um, despite it kind of diminishing in quality over the last oh, recent, recently the last year, I'd say, and not being nearly as frequent, uh, it's still a good line. Um, it produces well sculpted figures, great articulation. The more recent figures have been a little spotty on quality control paint issues, but still really good line. Has some produce some really cool figures um, some of them being my favorites being like this Darth Vader is probably my favorite three and three quarter inch Star Wars figure I own um, it's just so cool and all these guys are really cool and it's a really good line and one of the ones I really collected because that's when I really that's when I was in my collecting groove let's say when the Black Series line is coming out it was out when I was really starting to collect so that's the one I bought a lot of the figures from anyways that is number four Moving on to the next one. And at number three, we have the 30th Anniversary Collection. For a lot of people, this is probably their favorite or really close to favorite. For me, it's only third. And that's pretty much only because at the time I was a lot younger and I didn't really, wasn't really super into collecting then, so I didn't get to get all the figures. With that being said, I mean, I'll get a little bit of catch, catch up. Uh, I've been able to catch up a little bit. And um, it just produced a lot of really awesome figures. The spectrum was wide diversity of characters from being background characters, characters from the movie, main characters, prequel characters, the trilogy collect uh, characters, um, EU characters from both before the prequels and after the original trilogy. There's just such a diversity of characters, so many awesome figures. Was every figure great? No, but there's still a lot of great figures, great sculpting, good articulation, good accessories, and here are just a handful of my favorites. You know, we got a lot of e EU Sith in that line, and some of them are just awesome. I love this Darth Nihilus figure. The Star Killer is awesome. Bane's pretty cool. They got the Macquarie concepts released during that time as well. Um, just such a great line with a lot of really awesome figures, and that is my number three. Number two is the Black Series six-inch line. Um, initially, a line I was not planning to collect. Uh, mainly because of not having a whole lot of space and the price of the figures being double than three and three quarter inch figures is just not something I was really interested in collecting. I got like a six inch figure when they first came out and I skipped a lot of the waves. And then the Force Wagons figures came out, I picked up a couple and I fell in love with it basically. Uh, these figures are awesome because of the larger s scales you can get more articulation into them, you can get more sculpted detail into them and more accuracy and they just look so so cool. They're awesome figures and I'm now hooked on them and I need to get more. Um, I built up my collection a little bit, I still have to play a lot of catch up, there's a lot of figures that I missed out that I really want to get um, and I really want to build my uh, 6 inch figure collection, Star Wars figure collection, but this is a really really great line and a great line for collectors. Here's just the three of a few. 
a handful, a few figures I have. Some of these being my favorite. I mean, this Django Fett's awesome. And just for the most part, some six inch figures have been better than others, granted, but the ones that they really hit out of the park, they really nail. And, you know, Django Fett there is a great example. He's great, well, relatively good articulation. Um, great, a lot of accessories, great sculpt. I just really like this line. The same with the Kylo Ren. Awesome articulation. You can get that guy in a ton of poses. Just awesome. Uh, great, just a great line. Um, really overall a great line. I really want to get more of these guys and build my collection even more. Anyways, that is number two, and we'll move on to the number one spot. And last but not least, we have number one, the Vintage Collection. Uh, this one is not only like my favorite for reasons because the figures, but also some sentimental. It's the really the first line I really when it, this is the line that was out when I really started to actually start seriously collecting figures. Um, so there's that, and uh, it's just and I, even after that, it's still an excellent, excellent, excellent line. I mean, I'm looking back, and I just there are some figures that are obviously better than others, but I don't think there's ever a figure that was really bad in the line, which is really impressive. Um, and here's just a handful of figures I have. I mean, it's one of the few lines where I actually have a carded figure, which is, you know, I don't really collect carded figures, so... But, I mean, that Boba Fett there was one of the first figures I got. Um, it was definitely the first major collecting figure I got. Just an excellent figure. All of these guys, excellent figures, you know. Articulations are usually on point. Um, sculpts are great paint apps are awesome you just look at this line and then you look at the lines of three and the corner things we have now and just gotta ask yourself what went wrong what is hasbro doing when they could when they were releasing these and then they went back and started releasing five poa pieces of garbage in some instances some of those figures aren't terrible but just how they went so back in quality when they went from awesome honestly really nice collector grade three and three quarter inch figures to pretty substandard five PUA three and three quarter inch figures this is but this is just an excellent line I mean there's I there's not I can just there's so much I can say is awesome about it like it's just so good such a good line uh, packaging was awesome these guys were awesome to collect in card or outside of packaging either way you went it was just an excellent 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 line and if they're you're getting into collecting figures Star Wars figures this is the line you want to pick up figures from awesome amount of characters awesome sculpts awesome paint apps usually packed with good accessories just so so cool and i really wish we still got these quality figures today but times have changed anyways those are my top five figure lines from star wars thank you guys so much for watching feel free to make a video response or leave your top five lines in the comments below Thank you guys so much for watching, and may the force be with you.